Looking for a way to easily track and manage your moods? Notion can be a great tool for this as you can incorporate both tracking and journaling in one place. In this video, we wanted to give you a tour of our mood journal and tracker Notion template. If you find this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. So let's dive right in. When you first open up this template, there are these following sections. So there is my mood board here, which shows all sorts of moods that we've pre-included here along with special icons. And then there is my mood tracker where you can track based on the calendar. And then on the left hand side, we have quick links such as reminders to myself, mood tracker report, my mood boosters and an uplifting media gallery. And then we have a quick add mood journal entry button here as well. And along with reminders to myself here so that you can always remember positive feelings or anything you want to note for yourself to remember whenever you're feeling a certain way. So first, let's start by trying to add a mood journal entry as that's likely what the first thing you'll be doing is. So if we click add entry here, we can easily add a new mood tracker entry and it already pre-fills the date for you. And then you can choose your moods. So let's say that we're feeling happy and we feel loved and hopeful today. So we could put three things here. And then we can add some activities that we had today as well. So let's say that we saw family, we exercised, we also relaxed and rested. And then you can also choose some consumption here as well. So let's say we had some coffee. We also had some healthy food. So all of these you can edit yourself as well, depending on what you want to add here. And then the weather, how was the weather? So it was nice and sunny and social interaction, let's go with something like medium, and self-care, let's go with meditate, and then you can fill in the hours of sleep you had, so I'm going to put something like eight, and then additional notes, and then once you fill all of this in, then you can start answering these prompts as well, so something like what happened today, what were your moods, and why did you feel this way, who did I meet or interact today and how did I feel about the interactions? Are you happy with your moods for today? If not, what would have helped? What did you accomplish today? What makes you feel proud? How do you want to feel tomorrow? So these are just reflection prompts and you're also welcome to come up with your own prompts here as well. So now if we click out, we'll see that this entry has been logged in here and you can see your moods as well as what kind of activities you did already from here. And the other thing is you can actually see these through these mood boards here as well. So let's say that we put here that we were happy. So we can click on happy and we can see the entry inside the mood reflection and mood tracker data. So we see here our mood tracker data. And then here you can also reflect on each individual mood. So describe this mood. How does it feel and what does it mean to you? What activities or situations can bring you to this mood and so on? So this is a great way to reflect on the specific mood as well as show your tracker data here. And if we click out, then we can now go through the mood board. So we have a view all here. Then we have our positive moods. We have our neutral moods and then we have our negative moods. And if you want to add additional moods, you're welcome to add them here as well by just clicking in plus new. And then we can go check the left hand side. So in the quick links, we have reminders to myself. So if we go here, you can see all the reminders that you have. So when you feel positive, you want to be reminded of these things and you can continuously add to this, write the words that you want to say to yourself. If you feel neutral, you can ask yourself what could make my mood better. If you feel negative, you can also look at these as well. And then there's also view all. So this is a really nice way to be reminded all the way from the front page of this mood journal and tracker. So you can see them all here. And depending on how you feel, you can toggle it into different ones like this. And the next thing is the mood tracker report. So if we go to mood tracker report, you'll see how you felt this week. So you can see that the happy count is one, your hopeful count is one and loved is one as well. So you can really tally up what kind of moods you had the most and so on. Then if we go to this week, you can see based on activities. So we have exercise and then you can see all the moods that correlated with exercise so that you can kind of start to notice patterns. 
Then we have this week consumption. So we had coffee and healthy food. So the more you add, you'll see data relating to this as well. And then also socialization. So how does your mood correlate with the level of socialization you had? How does your mood correlate with the weather? So and so on. So this is really useful for that. You can also check self-care. And then we also have this month. So you can really track your month here as well so that you can see how many of each mood you had during the month. And if we go back, now we can check the mood boosters. So these mood boosters are sort of a way to feel better immediately or with the following activities depending on the category. So we have quick boosters, which are very short ones. Then there's these relaxing activities that you can do and then energizing activities and how we recommend you to use this is to kind of create a menu so if you have some time like 30 minutes to improve your mood you can kind of craft a menu for yourself that you can do in those 30 minutes so let's say that you want to do a long meditation and then you want to read your positive affirmations and then let's say breathe slowly so this could be your mood booster menu. And after that, you might feel better. And you can put them back into each of these activities like this. So every time you want to craft a mood boosting menu, you can just drag them in. And if we go back, then now we also have an uplifting media gallery. And this is basically a place where you can put everything that makes you feel good. So we have writing. So for example, some motivational poetry. We have music morning positive music, photos, a favorite photo of the sunrise, and video. So this is a great place to sort of collect all of your media that really uplifts your mood and makes you feel better. So that was the basics of our mood journal and tracker. We hope that this was useful for you. If you're interested in this template, we'll be leaving the link to it in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, feel free to let us know, and we hope to see you in the next one.